In this lecture, let's learn what are subjects in RxJS and where and when do we use it. A subject is a special type of observable that allows values to be multicasted to many observers. So using subject, we can emit some data and that data can be subscribed by many observers. The main purpose of using a subject is to make cross-component communication. So using subjects, the cross-component communication is very easy. Let's understand this with an example. And for that, let's first go ahead and let's comment this HTML. And in this project, I have created two new components. So I have created this new task component. If I go to this new task component.html, there we have an input element and we have a button element. So in the app component, if I uncomment this line, okay, and let me comment this line for now. And if we go to the web page, so this is how the new task component looks like. There we have this input element and we have this button element. And then I have also created one more component called show task. So let me go to show task component class. And there we have a property called tasks, which is an array of type string. And there we are specifying three tasks, task one, task two, and task three. And if I go to the HTML, there all we are doing is we are looping over this tasks array. And for each element of this tasks array, we are displaying it inside this div. So again, if we go back to app component.html and if I uncomment the selector of show task, and if I save the changes, in the web page, it will look something like this. Now, our requirement is, let's say user has typed some task inside this input element, let's say task four. And when he clicks on this create task button, we want to add that task in this list. Now, keep in mind that these two are different components and they do not have a parent child relationship. If I go to VS code again, you will notice that these two components are sibling components. So what we want is whatever the user has entered in the input element of this new task component, we want to pass that data to this show task component and there we want to display it. Now we can easily achieve it using services and event emitters. So let's first try to do that using services and event emitters. So for that, let me go ahead and let me open this new task component and let's go to new task component.ts file. There, what I will do is I'll create a property. I'll call it maybe new task. It is going to be of type string. And initially, let's assign it with empty string. Okay. Now, we want to do two way data binding on this new task property. So, I'll go to HTML file of this new task component. And there, on this input element, I'm going to do two way data binding. For that, we are going to use ng model directive. And for two way data binding, First, we need to wrap this ng model within square brackets, then within parentheses. And to that, let's assign that property. Now, in order to use this ng model, we also need to import forms module in the app module file. So here, let's go ahead and let's import forms module from angular slash forms. Okay, let's save the changes again. Let's go back to new task component.html and now we don't have any error. So now what will happen is in here, whatever value we will enter, that value will be assigned to this new task property. Okay. Now what I'll also do is on this button element, I'm going to bind click event. And to that, let's say on create task we are assigning a method here and let's go ahead and let's create this method in the component class so let's go to new task component there let's create this method and for now what we will do is we will simply log the value which the user has entered in the input element and that value we are going to receive inside this new task property so here let's say this dot new task let's save the changes let's go to the web page let me clear everything here. Let me enter a task. Let's say task four. And when I click on this create task, you will see that task four has been logged here. 
okay so in this way whatever value we will enter inside this input element that value will be assigned to this new task property now we also want to pass the value stored in this new task property to this show task component for that what we are going to do is we are going to create a new service so in this app folder let's go ahead and let's create a new folder let's call it services and inside this services folder let's go ahead and let's create a new file and let's call it maybe task services and it should be task service.ts okay here let's go ahead and let's create and export a class and i'm calling this class task service now this is going to be a service class so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and i'll decorate it with at injectable decorator and in order to use this at injectable decorator we need to import it from angular slash co okay and to this at injectable decorator let's pass a metadata object and there let's set the provided in property to root that means we want to provide this service from the root module in this case from the app module so in the last section we learned that using a service and an event emitter we can pass data from one component to another component even though those components are not related and we are going to use the same concept here so here first we will have to create an event emitter we have created a service in that service we are going to create an event emitter let's call this event emitter maybe create task it is going to be of type event emitter and in order to use this event emitter we need to import it from angular slash co okay and here we also need to specify what type of data it is going to emit so we want to emit a string value from here basically we want to emit that value which the user has entered in this text box all right now to this let's assign an instance of event emitter again it is going to emit a value of type string all right so here we have created an event emitter basically here we are creating an event now this event must be raised when something happens and to raise this event we are going to create another method and let's call this method on create task all right and from within this method we are going to raise this create task event so here let's say this dot create task dot emit we use emit method to raise an event right and this method is also going to receive the data which we want to emit let's call it maybe value and we want to emit this value from this event emitter let's set its type as string all right so from this method we are emitting this event we are raising this event now when do we want to call this on create task method in order to raise this create task event we want to call this method when the button is clicked in the web page when this button is clicked that time we want to call this event we want to raise this event so we are going to call this method from within this on create task method which is going to get called when the button will be clicked so here first we need an instance of this task service inside this new task component so here let's create a property let's simply call it as task service and it is going to be of type task service and in order to use this task service we also need to import it from this file all right and in order to ask angular to inject an instance of this task service we are going to make use of inject method and again in order to use this inject method we need to import it from angular slash go and to this inject method we need to specify the type whose instance we want to be injected inside this component class in this case the type is going to be task service all right so now we will have an instance of this task service class which will be assigned to this task service property 
so what we are going to do is we are going to access this task service property and on that we are going to call this on create task method and this on create task method it is going to raise this create task event now to this on create task method we also need to pass a value which will be emitted when this create task event will be raised and what value do we want to emit we want to emit the value which the user has entered in the input element and we are storing that value inside this new task property so we want to emit that value so let's say this dot new task so now what will happen is every time in the web page this button will be clicked this create task event will be raised now we are going to subscribe to this event we are going to listen to this event in our show task component okay so here we have the show task component let's go to the component class of this show task and there we want to listen for the create task event to happen so here i'm going to use ng on init lifecycle hook and inside this ng on init lifecycle hook we will subscribe to that event and in order to use this ng on init lifecycle hook i'm also going to implement on init interface okay name of the interfaces on init and in order to use this on init we also need to import it from angular slash go all right and again to subscribe to that event to this create task event first we did an instance of this task service class inside this show task component so again i'm going to create a property i'll call it task service it is going to be of type task service and in order to use this task service we also need to import it from this file and again i'm going to use the inject method and again in order to use this inject method let's import it from angular slash go and to that let's pass the type so the type here is going to be service task so in this way in this show task component also we will have an instance of this task service now what we want to do from this task service we want to subscribe to this create task event for that let's first access this task service let's say this dot task service dot create task so this create task it is an event and we are going to subscribe to that event okay and we know that this subscribe method takes a callback function the next callback function which gets called whenever an observable emits a new value so here we are going to pass a callback function this callback function is going to receive the value which this event will emit let's simply call it as value and here what we are going to do is we are going to push that new value to this tasks property to this tasks array so here let's simply say this dot tasks dot push and here we want to push this value now this array already has three tasks and whenever user enters a new value in this input element and clicks on this create task button that task should be added in this list so if i go ahead and if i say task 4 and if i click on this create task button you see task 4 has been added here if i say task 5 and again if i click on this create task button that task 5 has been added here so in this way using event emitter and services we are able to pass data from one component in this case from new task component to this show task component even though these two components are not related these are sibling components we are able to pass data from one component to another component using services and event emitter now the same thing can also be achieved using subjects and as we saw in the slide a subject is very similar to event emitters just like how we use event emitters in the same way we can also use a subject and keep in mind that subject is nothing but it is an observable so let's see how we can achieve it using subject so first of all what i will do is i will comment this line instead of creating an event emitter now we are going to create a subject so for that let's create a property again i'm going to name the property as create task and to this instead of assigning an event emitter 
now we are going to assign it an instance of subject and in order to use this subject we need to import it from rxjs library so let's also write that import statement okay and here we want to call the constructor of the subject class all right now you'll notice that here we have an error that's because now this create task it is no more an event emitter now it is a subject and as we learned a subject is a special type of observable so here instead of calling emit method now we need to call next method so we have learned that in an observable when we want to emit some data we call next method on the observer that's what we are doing here we are calling the next method and using that next method we are emitting some value finally here we also need to specify what type of data this subject is going to emit in this case it is going to emit a data of type string right with this let's save the changes and let's see if the functionality is still working or not so let's go back to the web page there we already have three tasks now let's go ahead and let's add one more task so let's say task 4 when i click on this create task button you see task 4 has been added here that means the data has been passed from new task component to this show task component if i go back and if i add one more task here maybe task 5 and if i click on this create task again that data basically this data it has been passed from new task component to show task component and that has been inserted that has been pushed to this task array and that's why in the ui we can see those two tasks as well so creating and using a subject is as simple as that we create a property to that property we assign an instance of this subject class and there we also need to specify that what type of data that subject that special observable is going to emit and then in order to emit value from that subject on that subject we call the next method so using a subject it is easier to do cross component communication just like how we do cross component communication using event emitters in the same way we can also do cross component communication using subjects and this is one of the use cases where we can use a subject so a subject is special type of observable that allows values to be multicasted to many observers currently we are using this subject to emit data only to one observer so in our example for this subject currently there is only one observer we have that observer inside this show task components but let's say if we want to pass the same data to multiple components in that case we will have to create observers inside each component so in that case for this subject there will be multiple observers and using subject we can pass data to multiple observers and that's why it is called as multicast observable so this is all about subjects now before wrapping up this lecture i want to mention that we are rarely going to create any observable by ourselves in our angular application but it's not like we are not going to deal with observables at all we are simply not going to create our own observables in an angular application but in our angular application we are going to use some methods for example when we will talk about http request and response there the methods which we use to make an http request to the server it returns an observable so we are definitely going to deal with observables but we are not going to create those observables by ourselves instead we are going to get some observable and we are going to use that observable in our angular application and that's why it is very important to understand how observable works behind the scenes and that's what i wanted to cover in this section so this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day